Hello, and welcome to our YouTube video on cell organelles. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the organelle found inside cell and explore its functions. But before we dive into today's lesson, let's have a recap of the organelles we studied earlier. We discussed the main parts of the cell. You can watch the video link, the description. Mitochondria are tiny, energy-producing organelles that are found in virtually every eukaryotic cell. As the powerhouse of the cell, mitochondria play a critical role in metabolism, energy production, and even cell death. Let's take a closer look at what makes mitochondria so fascinating. These tiny organelles are enclosed within a double membrane structure, with an inner and outer membrane. The inner membrane is highly folded and contains numerous protein complexes that are critical for energy production through a process called oxidative phosphorylation. While the outer mitochondrial membrane is the first layer that surrounds the entire organelle, the intermembrane space is the space between the outer and inner mitochondrial membranes. To understand the origination of mitochondria, we first need to delve into the microbial world that existed billions of years ago. At that time, the early Earth was a hostile place, devoid of oxygen and teeming with primitive microorganisms. Among these microorganisms were the ancestors of modern-day eukaryotes, which were thought to have evolved from a fusion between bacteria and archaea. But where did mitochondria come from? The answer lies in a process known as endosymbiosis, which involves one organism living inside another. So, which one is the correct answer? Researchers have been trying to unravel this mystery for years by using various techniques like phylogenetics, electron microscopy, and DNA sequencing. And while the question is far from being solved, there are some exciting new discoveries that could help to bring us closer to the answer. Overall, the origin of mitochondria is an important area of research, and it demonstrates how complex and fascinating the evolution of life can be. Did you know that mitochondria can vary greatly in size and shape depending on the cell type and function they serve? In size and shape, mitochondria can vary depending on the type of cell and the function they perform. For example, in muscle cells, mitochondria are often elongated and arranged in muscle fibers. This allows them to produce more energy during exercise. Mitochondria in liver cells are round and clustered around the cell's edge. This is because the liver processes toxins and other substances, and the mitochondria's shape and location help them do this job better. Mitochondria have a lot of flexibility in their shapes. They can change their shape to better carry out their functions. Plus, some mitochondria have a tubular structure, but others come in the form of spheres or irregular shapes. Do you know? Liver cells need a lot of energy to carry out their functions, so their mitochondria are larger than those in kidney cells. This is because liver cells need to constantly produce energy to keep our bodies functioning properly. Let's have a quick glance at the functions of mitochondria. So, here you have it. Mitochondria are amazing organelles with many functions that are essential for life. They produce energy, synthesize important molecules, regulate cell death, and protect our DNA. The next time you take a breath or move your body, remember to thank your hardworking mitochondria. Thank you for being the part of today's video, and we hope you have a better understanding of the importance of mitochondria in cellular biology. See you in next video. Till then, take care of yourself and your surroundings.